let's talk about dribbling. Yeah, I know. I get it. I'm with you too. Of all the mechanics I've learned in Rocket League, dribbling has got to be one of my least favorite to train. But after playing 100 games of 1v1 for my last video, one thing I can say for sure is that dribbling matters. And even more so in a lot of cases than some of the flashier mechanics like aerials or air rolling. So plan for today is I'm going to show you guys a step-by-step -step progression to master what I think is the most underrated mechanic in Rocket League with drifting and power slide. Also, at the end of the video, I'm going to be dropping a new dribbling plugin that basically accelerates your learning in every aspect of dribbling. Make sure to stick around if you want to check out that. Quickly, before I dive into the progression and break down how to train drift dribbling, I want you guys to understand what I'm going to show is basically a shrink down version of just how to train drift dribbling. Now, if you're interested in learning how to train dribbling or how to train ground control and basically figure out how this would fit into the big picture, that's the type of stuff that takes much more than a YouTube video to dive into and that you would find in something like my private coaching program. So if you're 18 plus years old and after this video, you're looking for more, you want to know what that next step is, you can DM me the keyword next on Discord to talk about what that looks like if you're interested in getting coached by me. Anyways, let's get right into the progression. All right, so in a second here, I'm going to jump into three steps to mastering drift control. But just a warning, before we get into it, this is going to get hard quick. I'm going to be going super fast here through each level with bonus tips as I go to hopefully help you master each step quicker. But if this feels hard, you might want to check out my introductory video, just my basic tutorial I made about a year ago on the fundamentals of dribbling, then come back to this one. That sound good? All right, let's get started. So level one of upgrading your drift control. We've got to start with the basics, just like you have to learn how to fly forwards before you can fly upside down. This is going to seem simple at first, but trust me, this drill is actually impossible. It's called the 180 degree turn drill. Now for starters, what this looks like is what I want you to do. You're going to take the ball, you're going to roll it in a straight line, and you're going to do a donut. You're going to do a 180 around the ball and turn it right back upfield exactly where you came from. The goal of this drill is before we start to put the ball on your car, right? Before we put the cart before the horse, just learn how to control power slide on the ground. Because I think power slide is a very muscle memory based mechanic, but not a lot of people actually talk about how to train it and trust me this looks easy but man when you try it it's going to be so so hard you're going to be way way over spinning the ball when i started doing this what would happen is i would fly way way past i'd completely overshoot where i wanted to go and to start we just want to get that basic drift control down before we put the ball on our car i'm jumping in actually after i first recorded this script because I think one of the keys here and the reason this one is so hard is because a lot of people don't understand that drifting actually lasts longer than you hold the button. That is one of the most common mistakes I see on this drill is people over spinning. So wanting to turn 180 degrees, but you know, instead doing like a 270 degree turn or completely spinning out. And the reason that happens is because when you let go of your drift, your car is still going to spin for a little bit of time before your wheels grab the ground, if that makes sense. Bottom line is hold drift a little less long than you think you might need to. And I think you'll find better results. All right, that's level one. But we're going to ramp things up pretty quickly here. So make sure you have that before stepping it up to level two. Level two, once we understand how to just control our drift on the ground, just control our car, now we can start to move the ball in with 90 degree drift turns. So for this drill, what I want you to do is get the ball on your car. You can spawn it on the car, pick it up off spawn. And what we're going to practice doing is positioning the ball just a little bit off to the side of our car and turning just 90 degrees to the left or to the right. You're going to do that four times. And the aim is to keep the ball on your car 
while you turn in a circle. Now, the main key I found here is to not try to push the ball too far in one direction. Instead, you want to wrap around it and make a smooth, consistent turn. So if you watch my joystick, as I do this turn, I'm going to start by pushing up and to the left. But as we move further through the turn, my joystick is going to move up and to the right, even though I'm only trying to turn in one direction. Turn right to go left. And so you're going to have to push back up on the joystick in the opposite direction to keep that ball inside your car and keep it from rolling off the top. That might seem a little too high level and a little too meta, but but pay attention to my joystick here, slow it down if need be, and practice these 90 degree turns. That's gonna be level two of drift training. Also, as a quick bonus to practice faster, recently King Randy told me about this new dribble plugin that dropped on Bacchus Mod by Cinderblock. You can pick it up, I'll have it linked in the description below, that has a ton of cool dribble features. <laughs> But one really cool one that will help you practice dribbling more frequently and basically just get you more reps in while you train is this dribble mode ticker that Cinderblock added to the plugin. Basically, the plugin will auto respawn the ball anytime it falls off your car. So if you're practicing, you know, power slide and you keep dropping the ball, well, you can just start up again and the ball will instantly spawn in your car to get tons of reps in super, super fast, which is key when it comes to power slide because power slide, you just you need to get a lot of reps in. You need to see a ton of different situations and know when you need to speed up, slow down your car to be able to keep the ball on top of it. Also, as a really cool bonus, something that this plugin allows you to do is show the balance zone of your car. So you can see where your car actually is relative to the ball while you're drifting. And when it comes to drift dribbling, you often need to be quite a ways away from the ball and you'll start to be able to get a good sense of how far you actually need to put your car away from the ball to keep it balanced while you drift. Dribble plug in, install it. It should help train dribbles. Pretty cool, right? Eh, anyways, back to the video. Finally, we're going to move on to level three of drift training and it's going to be 180 degree drift turn so you're going to take the ball on your car and the goal is to turn completely around while still holding it on top of your car now once again this looks so much easier than it actually is and the key here once again it's like cars if you're going hard enough left you'll find yourself turning right so as you're trying to turn this ball back around you're gonna start by pushing up on your joystick, but you'll see that as I do the 180 degree turn, my joystick pulls down a little bit because I'm trying to guide that ball forward without forcing it back. And to do that, you have to move at the speed of the ball to avoid it once again, rolling off the hood of your car. Pay attention to my joystick here. This one is a tricky one. When it comes to 180 degree turns, this is gonna take a lot of time, but the key is once again, holding down power side for likely less long than you think you'll need to. And with enough time and with enough training, I'm telling you, if you can control this ball on your car, man, your ground game is going to completely transform. If you found this video helpful and you want to learn more about drift dribbling and mechanics in Rocket League in general, you should DM me on Discord and we could talk about potential coaching. Link in the description below. As always, my name's Luke. I make these videos because a lot of people suck at Rocket League and I don't want you watching to be one of them. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace, guys. Watch the new dribble tutorial, lads. You see this? Oh, oh, oh. <gasps> crispy. Buttery, actually. This isn't crispy, this is buttery. Oh. One second, it's over there. You think I'm scoring on this net? Going back that way.